And please welcome to the white corner from Melton Mowbray, the reigning and defending world champion, the pretty killer, Iman Bolo! She's so good, she's become the youngest person ever to become a British title holder in Thai boxing. The mother thing knows nobody her age but to beat her. She's determined to carry on fighting and win more titles. I've dedicated my whole life to Muay Thai. I never knew what I wanted to do. I just grew up training and fighting, and at some point there was just a mutual love for the sport. It was all I knew. I started fighting when I was four years old, and I never looked back. I'm now 30, which people say is too young to retire, but I don't think they realise that I've been involved in this sport for 26 years. Some may laugh and say, how is that even possible? But it's true. From a young age, I sacrificed a lot in order to train, fight and become the best. Waking up in camp at 5.50 a.m. and out the door and running by 6 a.m. and doing an hour and a half's training before I make my way to my full-time job. And by 5 p.m., we do it all over again. Training six mornings and six evenings a week because we don't miss a session. Always tired, sometimes moody, although some people would argue always moody. But that was because when fight camp started, nothing would get in my way. I couldn't think about anything else until the fight was done and the world would be lifted off my shoulders as soon as my arm would be raised. I had over 100 junior fights without a loss and started my adult career fighting A-class at 12 years old. I had a total of 128 fights with 120 wins, 3 draws and 5 losses. The road has not been easy, like they say it never is. There's been a lot of blood, sweat and tears. I'm lucky because it's usually not been my blood, but it's definitely consisted of a lot of sweat and even more tears. You'll know what I mean if you've met me. I'm an emotional person. But I'm happy to say, looking back, it was always worth it, even though at the time it was difficult to see. I have achieved so much and Muay Thai has taken me to some incredible places and I have met some incredible people along the way my journey. I've been to places such as Perth, twice, Melbourne, Thailand, China, Singapore, Latvia, Norway, Sweden, Poland, Slovakia, Holland, Switzerland, Ireland, Tenerife, Spain, Mallorca, France, Las Vegas, Canada, Philadelphia and Connecticut. I've travelled, but don't be fooled, it's always business, not sightseeing. The job was in hand to win and that's all it's ever been. I prepare, train and fight to win and nothing else. It's the little details that were always important and people don't realise. Make sure we're there with enough time to prepare, take into consideration the travel, the time difference and make sure I have all I need. I always prepared as best I can so I never had an excuse. Even if I was injured or ill, I would just try and recover and work around it as best I could. If I had agreed to the fight, I never wanted to let anyone down, especially an opponent. So I probably fought sometimes when I maybe shouldn't have looking back. No matter how hard camp had been or what problems arise, I would never use an excuse. Fighting as often as I could and taking every opportunity offered to me was important and it made me the fighter I am. I would take fights on different rule sets just for an opportunity to further my career and get my name out there, but most importantly, keep me active. I once fought eight times in a year and it was the best thing I ever did. Fighting regular gave me a purpose and gave me a routine structure in my life that I never knew I had. After a fight was over, I'd enjoy myself for a week and be craving the next time I could get back in the ring and just perform. That love isn't as strong as it used to be anymore. With not fighting as often, but still training full time, just waiting to get a call is so hard mentally. In the last four years, I've started endless fight camps on a maybe, but I just kept convincing myself it was a fight game just to get on with it and something would always come through. But in all honesty, it didn't really. How can I keep competing at such a high level with gaps in my career? One year out the ring, fight. Nine months out the ring, a bigger fight. I've asked to go my own way so I don't have to retire, but this was declined. This is not what I am about and not what I stand for, so it's time to take the stress away and retire on top the way I want to.
It is a shame that certain situations and certain fights didn't happen because they tried to a lot of times, believe me, but the world just did not align. Maybe it was a sign, maybe it wasn't. I guess we will never know. I am in great health. I've had a great career and I have got a great fight resume. I've achieved a lot of things and hopefully opened doors for others. Female Muay Thai is at its best and we all just keep getting better and better. It's crazy. One thing I do want to say is that I'm proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself and I never gave myself enough recognition. So from me to me, awesome job. There are so many people I want to thank who have been part of my career. Don't think I forgot who helped me. I remember every single one of you. Thank you to my dad for dedicating his life to training me. My mum for being amazing and my whole inspiration. Growing up, I wanted to be just like you, a fighter with belts. I hope I've made you proud. My younger brother, Ty, my forever training partner, my best friend. Thanks for making me laugh and sorting me out when I need it. To all of Team Assassins and all of my training partners, thank you for everything. I've seen a lot of people come and go during the 26 years. Now it's time for me to take a step back.